previously on Two and a Half Men. You and Judith were meant for each other. What, what could possibly come between you? My sister. You got a sister? You know what, Herb? Judith can relax. I'm gonna check into a hotel. <sighs> Myra, no, you don't have to do that. Yes, she does. <laughs> hey, wait, 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 wait. You don't have to stay at a hotel. I got plenty of room at my place. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet you do. No, no strings attached. Thinking of chewing your arm off? What? No, no, no. Why would I do that? I don't know. Maybe because you're not horny anymore and you just remembered I'm staying through the weekend? <laughs> that looks like you're good at two things. Well, what's the other one? <laughs> All right. The piano. Charlie, where's this house guest I'm hearing about? Uh, gee, I guess she's probably still asleep in Jake's room. Oh, please, you are such a liar. What? Forget it, Charlie. We know. You do? We, we do. do. Every time you rut with any woman, even remotely connected to my life, I end up suffering. Alan, you gotta believe me here. This is different. I really like Myra. Oh, you like? All of them! <laughs> and then you don't. Now, what's gonna happen when you get tired of this Morning. poor girl? Morning. Morning. Boy, I slept great. Jake's bed is really comfortable. Don't bother, he knows. No. Boy, I slept great. Charlie's a terrific lover. <laughs> and it's my first trip to LA, so I wanna do all the traditional stuff. Tomorrow, we're going to sit in rush hour traffic and give other drivers the finger. Well, that's too bad, Herb. You tell Judith if she wants me to be a bridesmaid and wear that brown satin turd of a dress, then I am entitled to bring whoever I want as a date, and I want Charlie! OK, bye. See, no problem. Hi, Judith. <laughs> Problem. <laughs> you know what? I just realized something. I am two for two at Judith's weddings. <laughs> what a coincidence. I'm two for two at Herb's weddings. Huh. Excuse me, are you Judy's sex husband? Uh, yeah, yeah, I was just dropping off our son. No. Uh, I'm sorry, do I know you? Oh, no, not really. It's... Herb and I were engaged before he met Judith, so... And you're coming to his wedding? <laughs> yeah, well, we're still friends. I have to tell you, though, based on first impressions, I'm not sure that Judith is trading up. <laughs> mm. Oh, we, we really shouldn't be doing this. Why not? They broke our hearts. Uh, yeah, but I'm kind of over it. I'm not. <laughs> Alan, is this gonna happen with you or without you? Oh, Alan Harper, you animal! I can't believe you to let you go! Sex. Hi, Huggy Bear. Hey, Charlie. Wanda, what are you doing here? I was in the neighborhood and I'm drunk and horny. New plan. Have I met this one before? I doubt it. Right here, baby. Are you okay? Yeah, why? Never mind. <clears throat> Come on. Come on. Let's get you into bed. Oh, thank you. Hey, you remember when we were 
Vegas and I talked that cute waitress into joining us? Yeah, I do. I saw her last week at the Hard Rock. No kidding. She gained a lot of weight. <laughs> he nailed her right before she quit smoking. Listen, Wanda. Um, she does smell better, though. I'm sure, but listen. Like I... Fritos? <laughs> you know what? I gotta check on something. Well, is it okay if I start without you? Top drawer, nightstand, take your pick. Ooh. Careful, the big one's a flashlight. Wanda, I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but you gotta get the hell out of here. Come on, chop, chop. Wanda? Wanda! Oh, darn. Hold her up. I'll put her dress on. Okay. She's very fit. Hold her arms up. Really soft skin. Uh -huh. Ooh, smells nice, too. Okay, why don't you just put a chloroform-soaked handkerchief over her face and throw her in the back of your panel van? <laughs> Sounds like a waste of chloroform, doesn't it? Just get her head. Okay, on three. One, two, three. Oh, 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 goodness. Uh, slowly, 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 my ass. Come on, let's get her out of here. Charlie, you're going to... Oh. Goodness gracious. These are real. Slowly, slowly. Quickly. <laughs> Baby, come on in. <laughs> she really does look familiar. Terrific. Just don't drop her. Can't wait to tell my friends about this. You're not telling anybody about this. What's the point of doing it if I can't tell anybody? You've got 20 bucks in a memory now. Shut up. <laughs> okay. We've got to get her in the car. You want me to pull it around? No, I don't want you to pull it around. Okay, well then you pull it around and I'll stay here with her. Be very careful. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? You said I could have a memory. This is it. <laughs> Give me the phone. Oh, good idea. I can't get us both in the frame. <laughs> Can you make it look like we're talking to each other? Forget the picture. We have to bring the car around. Shouldn't someone stay here with Wanda? Yeah, but it shouldn't be you. <laughs> hey, look! It's me! I'm glad you came back. I don't like it when you're gone. I don't like it when I'm gone either. Oh, here they are. Funny story. <laughs> Thank you.
Uh-oh. Good morning. Morning. Charlie, right? Well, I guess it's too late to deny it. Would you like some coffee? I, sure. I would. You have a beautiful house. Thank you. So much. Oh, my name's Sandy. <laughs> yes. Of course it is. How could I forget? Sandy, like the beach or the Kofax. Uh, pardon me? Yeah, I'm Sandy Kofax, great Dodger pitcher, Hall of Famer, never mind. So, Sandy, how'd you sleep? Uh, just fine. How about you? Great, like a drunk baby. Well, are you hungry? Not yet. Maybe after I throw up. Do last night? Actually, I was hoping you could fill me in. There's my little sandy beach. Good morning, Ellie. <laughs> oh, thank God. I was afraid I was gonna have to quit drinking. So, what do you think of Sandy? Arguably the greatest southpaw in the history of baseball. My Sandy. I don't know. I've never seen her pitch. But she sure can cook. Well, guess how we met. I suppose we can rule out Dodger Stadium. In cooking class. You've been taking a cooking class? Where do you think I go every Tuesday night? You're not here on Tuesday nights? <laughs> no, I'm in cooking class. And guess who's the teacher? Who? Sandy. Oh. What do you say we all go into the living room and sing some Christmas carols? You mean stand up? I don't think I can. I'm not wearing pants. Oh, you guys, what's Christmas without caroling? Annika? Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey. Sandy, something wrong? Who moved the reindeer? I don't know that one, but I'll wing it. Who moved the reindeer the sages now? He's coming to check on the ring. No, 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 no. These reindeer. What about them? Donner and Blitzen are out of order. Somebody's been playing with them. So? So I want to know who it was. Jake? I didn't do it. Charlie. Oh, all right. I may have used one of them as a swizzle stick. <sighs> well, no harm done. <laughs> you know what? I think something's wrong with Sandy. <laughs> I just said that. Do you ever listen to me? Sandy, sweetheart, you okay? He's not coming. Who's not coming? Listen to this. Santa. Every year I try to make things perfect. And every year I fail. Mama was right. I am a naughty girl. Come on, Alan. Where are we going? I want you to teach this naughty girl a lesson. She needs to be punished. <laughs> Come on, Alan. I'm ready. Good night. Hey, pie for everybody.
I just had a phenomenal business idea. The chiropractic offices of Dr. Alan Harper. Wow. So this is where you come every day, huh? Yep, for 11 years. What do you think? I would have killed myself 10 and a half years ago. <laughs> okay, now all you have to do is sit here. And when the phone rings, pick it up and say, Dr. Harper's office. So right off the bat, I lie? <laughs> I am a doctor, Charlie. Yeah, and I'm king of the traffic donuts. <laughs> Moving on, I have canceled all the morning appointments, so the only thing you're gonna have to deal with is walk-ins. Just have them make an appointment for another time. So, I don't get to crack anybody's back? Charlie, listen to me very carefully. You must not touch the patients. <laughs> this is not me talking, this is the state of California. Okay. Let me be absolutely clear. No touching the patients. Got it. What did I just say to you? Repeat it back to me. Oh, you're really not a morning person, are you? All right, I gotta go get to Jake's school. Say a prayer that I can keep him from being expelled. Don't worry about a thing. It's under control. You can count on me. Oh, if I could believe even one of those things. <laughs> Okay, where can I hang myself? <laughs> Hello? Oh, hey, Alan. I said Dr. Harper's office. I did. You know what? Call back and give me another chance. Hello? Damn, try it again. Don't worry, Alan, I'm not touching the patients. There are human lives at stake here, man. I need those spines delivered immediately. Hello, can I give you a complimentary adjustment? I'm here for the masseuse position. I see. Well, I'm, I'm really not authorized to do any hiring, but you're obviously qualified. <laughs> So to hell with protocol, welcome aboard. I'm sorry, Dr. Harper's not in this morning, but if your back's really bothering you, we do have a masseuse on duty. Fine, anything. Well, let's see. She just went in with a patient about five minutes ago, so if you don't mind waiting, I'm Thank sure. you, that was great. Good, come back soon. Soon, I'll be back after lunch. You next? Oh, please. Let's go. What's this? Your cut. <laughs> Click. <laughs> Time. Man, is this day ever gonna end? Hey, Alan. What's going on here? I had another business idea. What? Hear me out. What do men like better than donuts? <laughs> Hang on. Time!
Thank you.